are these functions. Remember, for a function, each input, that's an x value, has one, one, only one output, only one y value. Okay, that's the rule. So look, this input 2 has one output. This input 6 has one output. This input 7 has one output. This input 5 has one output. So this is yes, this is a function. Now look, what would make it not a function is let's say this input 2, like let's say there was another row, this input 2 had an output of 4 and it also had an output of let's say 6, right? Then that, if we had this as part of our table, then that would be a no because we would say, oh, like, this input 2 has an output of 4 and 6. So, okay, so this one's yes, but that's what would make it no. Okay, now here I'm looking at a graph. And here, what I notice, like, let's, let's just take like a random x value. Let's take like the x value 2. This input of 2, this x value of 2, actually has two outputs, one right here and one right here, right? There's two, there's two y values on that one x value. And notice what that looks like is a vertical line is touching in two places. Okay, so this is a no. In order for it to be a function, it has to pass a vertical line test, which means each vertical line only touches in one spot. Okay, so this is a yes and this is a no.